friends and welcome to the video. If you've never seen my face before, I'm Olivia. And if you have seen my face before, welcome back my friends. I'm very excited because I am not doing another video in our summer series. Our summer series has wrapped, so if you guys haven't checked that out yet, I went over every single category of fragrance, whether it be gourmand or earthy, told you the ones that would be appropriate for summer. So today we are going to be talking about perfumes that Barbie would wear. I obviously am not the original creator of this video. There are a ton of fragrance reviewers who are doing this content right now with the Barbie movie coming out, which I actually saw today and it was fantastic. I'm not exactly sure what I expected it to be, but it was very different than I expected and very welcome. So if you haven't seen it yet, it was fantastic. So when I think of Barbie dolls, I think of something super hyper feminine, something playful, something youthful, something Something super super girly. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. So if you love girly fragrances, you're in the right place. So let's get started. Hey guys, this is Editing Olivia, just hopping in for one second because I had already finished recording and editing this video when I got something in the mail and I think that we need to incorporate this because this is major. This is the official Barbie perfume. This was made by Define Me. I have talked about Define Me many, many times on this channel and they actually worked with Mattel to come up with this scent. I am so proud of them. They have been so supportive of me from the very beginning of my channel on YouTube and Instagram and TikTok and I was so excited to get this but let me read you guys to the notes because it is truly the cherry on top. This has pomelo, strawberry nectar, red cherry, dragon fruit, dahlia rose, gardenia, peony, pink magnolia, sandalwood, whipped cream, and soft musk. So let's give it a smell. Really good atomizer. Look at that. Mm. <laughs> now this is a Barbie fragrance if I have ever smelled one. So that pomelo is giving a tanginess in the beginning, but I'm getting a syrupy candied sweetness from that strawberry and the cherry and dragon fruit. They do florals really well because it is floral, but it's subtle. It's not overwhelming whatsoever. And I'm getting a big dollop of whipped cream along with the muskiness. This is super sweet. It's super playful. This is a really fun fruity floral and this really is the perfect Barbie perfume. If you like My Way by Giorgio Armani, Imagine that in the most playful of scents. A lot lighter, a lot fresher, but still has that sweet floral element going on. This is so creamy. It is so sweet and juicy and bright and happy. You guys gotta get a look at this bottle. Look at this bottle. I'm honestly a sucker for hot pink, but my favorite color is yellow. So this combination, if you would have showed me this when I was a kid, I would have absolutely lost my mind. But this doesn't smell kiddish. This smells fun and playful, but still has some sophistication to it. So I think they did a bang on job with this. And I just really wanna congratulate them because I have met the women behind this brand and they're absolutely incredible. So big congrats to you guys on landing this Barbie perfume made with Mattel. First off, this is going to be for our Beach Barbie. This is from the brand Salt Air and this is called Pink Beach. So the name is just perfect. And this has creamy coconut, almond blossom, and vanilla. They're not kidding when they say creamy. This is a very thick, creamy coconut, a sweet vanilla. That almond blossom just gives a little bit of a floral touch. It gives it a slight bit of nuttiness, but all in all, this is a very beachy, creamy coconut fragrance, very sweet. And these are super duper affordable for this big old bottle. So they are a body mist, so they're not going to be terribly long lasting, but as the name would suggest, this would be perfect for a beach day or going to run errands or just hanging out for a bit. So you might get about three to four hours out of this, which for me, a body mist that's very affordable, that's a pretty decently long wearing fragrance. So that was Pink Beach from Salt Air. Next for a Barbie that's a little bit in her femme fatale era, we're going to go with Juliet Has a Gun Lipstick Fever. So this is a raspberry fragrance, but it is very, very musky on the dry down. It has a little bit of powderiness that's reminiscent of a lipstick scent. So think of not so much a vintage lipstick that's very very, very floral, but a new wave powdery cosmetic sort of smell. So it's fruity, 
it's powdery and musky, and I think this is something that Barbie would definitely wear on a date night. So that's Lipstick Fever by Juliet Has a Gun. Next we have Ediola by Navitus, and I think the color of this bottle speaks for itself. So this is a rose fragrance, but it also has jasmine, so there's quite a bit of floral. But in the beginning, you get a lot of citrus, so you have bergamot and you have orange, but then you have this beautiful, juicy, sweet peach. So it's tangy and fruity in the beginning, but you get a big dose of florals. So you have to be a floral lover to get along with this fragrance, but it is very girly. It is very elegant. And in the base, you have this lovely smooth vanilla that gives it a little bit of sweetness and a little bit of complexity. So that way it's not just your run of the mill fruity floral fragrance. This is sophisticated, but very girly at the same time. So that's Ediola by Nevitus. Next is one of my husband's favorite fragrances of all time. This is Marc Jacobs Perfect. Not the intense, this is the original EDP. And to me, what this smells like is red Jolly Ranchers in the beginning. So they are super candy sweet, almost like cherry, but not syrupy and medicinal, almost a little bit tart. But then as this dries down, it has an almond note that kind of give it an almond dessert vibe. Think marzipan. So if you had a marzipan, but it had a candied crust on top, this is juicy and bright and refreshing in the beginning, but then dries down to something kind of complex from the house of Marc Jacobs. Because when I think Marc Jacobs, I think very, very simple fragrances, but this is certainly a sweet, sexy, playful fragrance that I think you guys would love. So that's perfect by Marc Jacobs. Hopefully you guys aren't sick about hearing these fragrances quite yet. This is Parfums de Marly Delina Exclusive. So this is a lychee rose fragrance. So you get this sweet and sour fruity combination in the beginning. You get this beautiful pink rose that has a little bit of an aquatic touch. But what I like about the Exclusive better than the original is the original is a little bit sharp and piercing because it has a rhubarb that gives it a really, really tart feel. And this is a little bit smoothed over with some powderiness. And it also has an ambery vanilla dry down. So it has a little bit of powderiness, a little bit of tanginess, a little bit of sweetness with the rose, but it's got a little bit more sophistication in my opinion than the original. The original is great. It's just a lot more bright and fresh. Whereas this is powdery and a little bit more complex, a little bit more mature, but still very girly and still very, very powerful. So that is Delina Exclusive by Parfums de Marly. Next is Floral Street Wonderland Peony. And this is a peony fragrance. And if you haven't smelled peonies before, they are slightly aquatic florals. So they're not going to be as heavy as your jasmine or rose. So if you're not a fan of really, really floral fragrances, this would be great because this also has the note of cotton candy. So you got that beautiful, sweet spun sugar, and it also has the note of guava. So the guava in this is very, very juicy and very sweet. It almost smells like concentrated guava juice, as opposed to a fresh cut guava itself, where you'd smell a little bit of greenness. This is like the concentrated version with a little bit of floral and a very, very sweet cotton candy. So this is fun, it's playful, and I am surprised at how long this lasts. I thought for something fruity and sweet, this would only give me about four hours, but this pushes about six hours. So for me, the performance was perfect. So that is Wonderland Peony from Floral Street. Sticking with the fun candied sweet fragrances, this is from the brand Define Me, and this is called Sophia Isabel. And this is a sugary sweet clementine. So you're getting quite a bit of citrus, this has jasmine, but it is far off in the background. I would not consider this a floral fragrance. This is just like a sugar-coated dried mandarin orange. If you freeze-dried mandarin oranges and then you put a citric-covered coating with sugar on top, that's what you're getting from this. It is very sweet, but has that beautiful tart freshness from the citruses. So that is Sophia Isabel by Define Me. Next is a super affordable option that you can find at Target for my Barbies on a budget. So this is from the brand Pacifica, and this is called Sunrise Moon. And I've talked about this before, and I'm sure I'm beating a dead horse if you watch all of my videos, but if you haven't,
love it. This smells like peach rings. There's no other way to describe it. The candied gummy peach rings with the sugar on the outside. That's what you're gonna smell like. And I get a decent amount of lasting from this. And this is very, very affordable. I think these are about $22 at Target. And you can usually find these in stock. So very accessible, very affordable, and lasts a pretty good amount of time if you like smelling like a peach ring. Now we can't talk about sweet fragrances without talking about the OG, the classic La Via Belle. So in the beginning, you have blackcurrant and pear that give this a syrupy, fruity sweetness. But in the base, you have praline and you have vanilla. So they're more thick and rich gourmand elements. But this also comes with a heavy dose of florals. So you have iris that gives this a lot of powderiness, along with a jasmine and an orange blossom that give it that beautiful, rounded, white floral character. So it has a little bit of maturity to it, although this is a very sweet fragrance. And in the base, you have a pretty prominent patchouli. So if you are not into patchouli, this might not be for you. This does read a little bit mature to my nose, but not in a dated fashion, in a way that I could not see a teeny bopper wearing this. So this would be for our more sophisticated Barbies that still love it sweet, but they want something a little bit more elevated. So that's the classic La Via Belle from Lancome. Now, if you want something that has a similar profile to La Via Belle, but you cannot stand patchouli, in comes Love Don't Be Shy by Killian. So this is also a jasmine orange blossom fragrance. That orange blossom is very prominent in this. So you are getting a lot of florals in this as well, along with that same iris that gives it a big dose of powderiness but you don't have those darker base notes to make this more mature. To me, this smells like fluffy marshmallows with a strong dose of orange blossom water that they use in some Middle Eastern desserts. You have vanilla, sugar, and caramel in the base. So this is fluffy, it's sweet, but very floral without the patchouli. To me, this is an overdose of sweetness and would do better in the cooler months, but if you live in a cooler climate or you would just like to brave this thick fragrance during summer, by all means, that is Love Don't Be Shy by Killian. Now, if you want something sweet, but you don't want something that's so toothachingly sweet, you want something that's a little bit more good for day to day, I would try out Yara by Latafa. Now, I know a lot of people have said that this smells like strawberries and cream. I'm not really getting that out of this. I get a prominent dose of vanilla, that isn't a candied type of vanilla. To me, this smells like a really high quality body cream or hair conditioner. There's something smooth and buttery about it that kind of reminds me of a shea butter texture. And it has quite a bit of muskiness on the dry down. So it does have these gourmand facets to it, but those are definitely tampered down in comparison to the muskiness and the vanilla. So if you like the smell of like bougie hair conditioner or like a high quality shea butter cream, this is what this reminds me of. To me, it's not super fruity like people talk about. So that is Yara by Latafa. Another one for my Barbies on a budget. This is Coffee Cloud from Good Chemistry. And to me, if you've ever smelled Ariana Grande Cloud, you've pretty much smelled this. They smell very, very similar. It is fluffy like sponge sugar, but then has this musky dry down that almost leans ever slightly masculine. It almost has this slight cologne vibe to it, but it is still very sweet, very uplifting, and very happy. Once again, you can find this at Target for around the $20 range. Very affordable, decent performance, not super long lasting, but if you like to smell like cotton candy with a little bit of an undertone of cologne, just a little bit, you will like this one. Next is Born Dreamer by Charlie D'Amelio. And this has anju pear, this has sugar, and this has a load of musk. But what this smells like to me is bubble gum. I get a strong hit of bubble gum. And I know a lot of bubble gum type fragrances have a really strong hit of florals, but this one is just straight bubble gum. Think of pear syrup. You have like a sip of pear syrup chewing pink bubble gum. That's what this smells like to me. But on the dry down, it has this really lovely muskiness. Little tip for you guys. Do you remember when Kat Von D had perfumes and there was one in a beautiful white bottle, a really decorated white bottle. I believe it was called Saint. The dry down of this smells so similar to Saint, in my opinion. The beginning doesn't, but as it dries down, it smells exactly like Saint. I used to wear that and it's very much discontinued. So little hot tip from me to you, 
Born Dreamer by Charlie D'Amelio, Smells Like Saint by Kat Von D. This next one is such a beautiful fragrance to me, and I hear so many people saying that it's basic and that there's a million other fragrances like it, and I have to disagree. I think that this is something very beautiful and special, and maybe it is a little bit simple, but simple is not always a bad thing. So this is Irresistible by Givenchy. This is a rose iris fragrance. So this is a young rose. This is a pink rose, not a heavy rose. It has this powderiness and a muskiness that give it a little bit of warmth, along with an ambrette that give it this cozy feeling. And it's sweetened up once again by pear. So to me, this is sweet and feminine and welcoming and warm and beautiful. This just smells like a beautiful woman. And irresistible, I, I think irresistible kind of denotes a little sexy. While this could be sexy, this is more of somebody has the most elegant wife you've ever seen. This woman is put together and she's warm and she always smells good and her house smells good and she's got a perfect life. That's what this smells like. That's what I'm trying to aspire to be one day. But I'm a little bit, I'm a little rough for this fragrance, right? But when I'm trying to feel a little bit soft and feminine, this is the one that I go for. And this is a compliment getter. If you don't try anything from these videos, but you get your hands on this, you can try this in Sephora. Just spray it on. You might smell it on paper and think, mm, she's a little basic. Put it on. See what I'm talking about. Spray it on your skin and on your clothes and you will see the magic. That is Irresistible by Givenchy. Next is Dare by Brown Girl Jane. And this is my favorite cherry fragrance that I have in my collection because cherry to me can read very, very medicinal, very syrupy and thick but the cherry is done in such a wonderful way in this fragrance because it's backed up with some florals that are very sweet and happy and feminine. They are not thick and heavy, but it has a little bit of spiciness to it. It's got a little bit of a kick. So although this is very girly, it has that beautiful, sweet, natural smelling cherry with florals. It's not just your run-of-the-mill fruity floral fragrance. This has leather in the base that give it a beautiful smooth touch. It grounds it down along with an amber that give a little bit of a resinous quality. And this also has lychees, that beautiful sparkling tart juicy touch. So this is a cherry fragrance done absolutely right that I know Barbie would be proud of. So that is Dare by Brown Girl Jane. Now this next one, I won't lie. I was on this internet talking crap about this about a year ago because I felt like this was a fragrance that you could find at Bath & Body Works for much cheaper. And that is Kaoli's Eden Juicy Apple. And once I bought this, once I got a full-size bottle of this, I understood what people were talking about. This is a big juicy red candy apple with a load of red berries. And it has this intoxicating vanilla musky dry down. And when I tell you this fragrance gets me so many compliments. I wore this to a massage and I had a woman, after I had put this on several hours prior, I was getting into my car and she was like half a block away from me. And I did not go crazy on the sprays. And this woman yelled after me. She's like, you smell incredible. I went into the dermatologist's office and the nurse literally pulled down her mask in the middle of COVID because she was like, oh my God, I need to know what that is. I could tell you so many times that I got complimented on this fragrance. So if you like juicy berries, if you like a strong punch of apple, but you like a little bit of muskiness, this is sweet, it is playful. And as these bottles sit, they last longer. In the beginning, this did not last very long for me, but it's macerated, it's aerated a little bit, and the performance is much, much better. So that is Eden Juicy Apple by Kaoli. Sticking along with the beautiful red juicy berries, this one is from Dime, and this is called I Love Your Smell Baby. It has it abbreviated here, but it's called I Love Your Smell Baby. And this has a load of juicy red fruits in the beginning. You're getting raspberry, you're getting grapes, you're getting plum, you're getting apple, you're getting all of these beautiful beautiful fruits in the beginning. This has rose and coconut water, but in the base you have cotton candy and amber. So it is fruity, it is sweet, it's a tad bit floral with a smooth, warm dry down. This is a super fun fragrance and dime fragrances are vegan and cruelty free. They're made in the US and on their website it says they're low on the hazard scale. So if you're looking for some fragrances that don't have a lot of the ick in them, you can do your own research. That is dime. I love your smell, baby. And I specifically left 
this last fragrance till the end because this one right here. This is from Ramon Monegal and this is called Flamenco. And this is if you want to smell like a Barbie doll itself. Something about this literally smells like plastic Barbie doll heads. And I know you're thinking to yourself, why would you even want to smell like that? But there is something lovely and nostalgic about this fragrance. It's a little bit powdery, a little bit sweet, it's floral, but it has a little bit of this synthetic type touch to it that is just very reminiscent of a Barbie doll head itself. You know how they were always scented for some reason? That's what this reminds me of. So if you want to smell like Barbie herself, the doll, that is Ramon Monegal's flamenco. So I hope you enjoyed today's video talking about all the fragrances that I think Barbie would be proud to wear. I had someone slide in my DMs over Instagram and they said, yeah, that's cool to hear about Barbie, but I would love to see an Oppenheimer version. So let me know if you guys would like to see fragrances that give an Oppenheimer vibe. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I wonder how that one will go. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I am here every Saturday, 10 a.m. PST, so I hope you're vibing with today's video. If you are, subscribe. If you're already subscribed, I appreciate you. And until next Saturday, take care of yourselves, my friends.